Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croissery, salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, chasten yakshimash, good day, y'all. Today we are going to be doing a little unboxing and review of this, which is the Hoover Diverter. I have had this in my possession for a number of years. I bought it in Australia uh, the last time I was there. That's got to be about, what, four years ago? So I've had it for quite a while. I did actually have to dust the box off uh, for this video. So what do we have? Here we have the Hoover Diverter. It says, the Hoover Diverter is engineered to cyclonically capture dust and dirt before it enters your vacuum. Saves um, buying dust bags and extends the life of your filters. Helps maintain peak cleaning performance of your vacuum cleaner. So as we can see here, there is a Hoover vacuum, an Australian one, that has an electric power head and it's a cyclonic vacuum and this is also like a cyclonic attachment so it says here it is suitable for the um, hoover mode hoover vogue hoover allergy and the hoover regal but i am hoping that this will be suitable for other vacuums as well depending on the size of the um of the of the hose on it the gap because basically as you can see here in the box it has an electric power point so you connect it in between so you can still use the brush head but i don't have one of those so the first thing i'm going to do is cut a small incision in the top I haven't even opened this to look at it. I've done nothing with it since I've had it. Not much to this. Seems to be all together in one piece. I believe these will be the destructions. One year warranty, conditions of warranty, uh, diverter. That's exactly what it says on the box. Cyclonic complete seal system prevents dust and odors from escaping into the environment. And here we have it, basically. We have the hose goes into there. That's got a release button on it. Electrical connector at the top. That is at the bottom. Very easy to remove. It's just twist to unlock and it comes out. That is the dustbin. That's where it says max fill. That comes out for cleaning. And that's pretty much it. So what it does is your dirt comes in, goes through this mini cyclone. Most of it is then captured in here. And then what isn't goes out through the other side into your machine. It's very well made. Um, this plastic container is, is nice and thick. Um design trademark blah 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 designed in australia made in china to our exact specifications so this is apparently only in Aust made in australia so there's probably other similar ones around for other brands but this is a nice modern one okay so the next thing i have to do i'm gonna have just have a quick flick through the instructions and then i'm gonna have to find a vacuum that i can put it on because, uh, yeah, let's have a look. So I've had a look around the workshop and I have found a vacuum where it fits in really well. And it's a Miele. So I've got this Miele wand. And the bottom part of it fits in there and clicks absolutely perfectly. I can't believe that. That's amazing. The top end of the hose with the nubbin would f it fits in but it wasn't clicking so <laughs> there's two things i had to do but it doesn't matter because this is an old horse first of all there was a little nubbin in there i removed it so the nubbin's gone and then i had to file down the end because it was too long there for it to fit in so i filed this down and now it fits in and clicks on so it's going to stay on permanently 
So that is incredible because I've now got this little diverter on my Mila. So <laughs> I am going to get it set up on the floor. We'll get some mess down and we'll see how it copes. So I have put down all different types of mess. We've got some gay wedding, we've got some gay beach, we've got a bit of Rice Krispies and fluff. And we're going to be using this Mymela C3, otherwise known as the Ladybug. We've got it all set up. And I'm going to hold the camera and go straight through. Let me pull out the hose. So this makes it really mega long now. And let's see what it picks up. So I'll put it on. It's on silent mode. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I've noticed with this. Uh, this is what it's picked up inside the Cyclone. If I switch the machine on. So it's definitely got a cyclonic action. That's one thing. Um, if I turn the power down, so that's at the lowest. That's at the max. Now, the negative thing that I found with this is that it affects the flow, airflow, with the turbo brush. So if I have the turbo brush on with the cyclone thing on, diverter, if I turn it on, it's on max. It spins around, which is fine, but if I take the diverter off, The power that the airbrush is producing is far greater than with the diverter on because a lot of suction is, is kind of lost 
in this cyclone. So it's, it's using up airflow or whatever suction to, um, to do this. It hasn't picked up, I mean, I didn't weigh it. I'm not doing it scientifically. It didn't pick up the amount of stuff that I did actually put down. I put down quite a bit, but it has saved this amount from going into the bin. So if I pour it out, there we go. I've just poured it out on the floor so it's empty. And I'll set the camera up so you get to see it in um, slow motion. So again, I haven't weighed it, but it seems to have picked up everything that was that was in there. That's quite a saving to the bag. But then you kind of like the compromise is that you're going to actually lose airflow through the turbo be because of that. It'll be interesting. The next video I'm going to do on this, I'm going to use this and do a house demo uh, using my Mela C3 Eco, the Eco one that I have, and see how well that does for vacuuming but i'm quite impressed with it like i said the, the one thing i want to test with it is how it performs using a less powerful vacuum cleaner which is my c3 eco line so that is what i'm going to do on the next video let's get back up on the workbench so to be absolutely honest i was surprised at how it worked let me take it out so you simply just remove the tub and then you can empty that into the bin but i put it back into my mad about mess box giving this a clean out can't be simpler Quick reassemble and it's back done ready to be used again um, I like it I really really do like it I just wish that these were kind of like more universal that you could use with other vacuums um, the diameter of the of it is one and a half inches and that's 34 millimeters so it's one and a half inches, 34 millimeters. Yeah, it's about that same at the top. Um, but I'm quite surprised and happy that it fits with the Miele because the fittings on it are very, very similar. As in, like, almost exactly the same. <laughs> there at the top and the bottom um, but I did have to um, bodge up the um, top of the hose but it still works as normal with this anyway so like I said I am going to use this um, on my other Miele C3 and do a whole house demo with it and see what it picks up for people who kind of like like bagged machines but kind of like think about the environment I can suggest using one of these would reduce um sorry would extend the life of the bag by quite a lot um even though it's it's a little bit every little helps as they say but you still get the satisfaction of the really good filtration of like the bagged Miele c3s um but with also um making the bag use last longer with this bagless device but like i said you will lose power on it you will lose suction airflow whatever it will reduce it but still not too bad so there we go. Finally opened up this little Hoover diverter from Australia. I hope you've enjoyed. It's been fun to do with you guys today. And we will see this again very soon in another video. And uh, yes, take care until the next time. Bye, y'all.